morning and welcome to the broadcast everybody we are back over here at the brush creek job and we are about to have an extremely fun day won't take that skid steer long to fuel up i've had an issue with this excavator and if this is the only issue i have that's going to be fine but it has got a squeak that's been driving me bonkers before i resort to the white lithium grease since the squeak is inside the cab i want to try this dry lube just to see how that works see like if you jerk on real hard it doesn't do it but if you just do that so it's definitely down in here so if i can just pull this back a little bit i don't have a lot of high hopes that this is going to fix the issue but We'll find out. Got just a little, like a knock to it, but it's not squeaking. I can handle that. Right here is how machine fire starts. I could not have made a better tinder bundle than these birds did. You wanna talk about something that light up? Oh good, there's no dingies. That makes me happy. Oh, look at that. That's a little green, but... I don't know if y'all can see too good in there, but you can see that that's full of stuff. I need to clean that out. Let's head over here to the fire pit and see how well that burned down overnight. Looks like a freaking pterodactyl's nest. Burned a real good hole right in the middle, as kind of I expected. As kind of I expected. That doesn't make sense. Burn a hole in the middle, as I expected. Let's go ahead and stack this brush up in the fire a little bit better and get it back burning. something big in there. Yep, there is. Let's try that again. I remember that sap one being in there. Go over across the way, cut those trees up, get them burning. If y'all got a bunch of vines in a burn pit like that, and you walk through the smoke plume, better hold your breath. If there's poison ivy in there, it'll get you. Uh, gonna drop one there. Now y'all be careful when you've got a grapple bunch of that. You noticed I was kind of leaning back when I was cutting that. The worst hit I ever got busted by a limb was doing that right there and i just let my guard down because i was wearing one of those helmets that had the face shield and i'm telling you one about that size sprung up and busted me in the nose now, i've told this story before but i'm gonna tell it again for the new people it it i wouldn't i think it broke my nose because i ended up leaning over it I was seeing the little Tweety birds and I leaned over and opened my eyes. The floor was covered in blood. It was not one of my better days, I'll say that. It was not a good day at all. Man, that hurt. <laughs> Boy, that hurt. I thought I was gonna have to call my wife to come get me uh, and take me to the hospital because it wouldn't stop bleeding. And I thought, dang, I'm going to have to go and have them cauterize a vessel in my nose. But it did eventually stop. Took it a while, though. 
I know one thing, it's steamy today. Let's see what it is. 80 degrees. That's not too hot, but man, that humidity it is the time of year for the humidity. So if I got this thing cut loose the first time. Come here, big boy. As long as that thing don't flip over on me, we'll be good, won't we? That guy's not wanting to move, is it? Willingly. It will move, just not easily. It's covered with poison ivy. up against the machine and you 
grab on to the machine wherever that stuff touches and that Arushiol oil is on it. You just got yourself a case of poison if you're allergic to it. Which I'm getting ready to take a tree down anyway, but still. An ounce of prevention, I say. I think it's the saying anyway. trail through the woods, isn't it? Let's see if I can drop this little sapling right over. That way. If I can just drop it right in the trail would be ideal. Yep. Right there. Perfect. 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 Cut that thing up. Ah, yes, that's much better. Gave me a lot more room to work with. Which room is a valuable commodity when cutting these trails. Cut the trails too. Oh, I got my Cut these trails too big. It's like a highway, and people don't tend to like that. They're wanting to ride a trail through the woods. So bigger is not always better when it comes to this kind of thing. I believe I've got those cut to a size that the skid steer will be able to run in and out of here pretty easily. Squeak is back. I'll we'll have to go with white lithium grease. I guess that might not even do the job. I'm gonna try it though. I hate to put any kind of grease in my cab. Thank you. 
one more pace and we head down the hill get out in some open territory for a change that one landed right on the barbed wire fence Down the hill we go. Actually, that bundle's small enough to get with the skid steer, so I'll leave that there and I'll get this bigger bundle. Hopefully, all of it. Oh, yeah! Just about every bit of it. Take this down to the far pit. If you're new to the broadcast, what I've been doing is bringing my brush down from the trail and throwing it in this dry gully instead of carrying it down and across the culvert and back across. I'm just kind of stockpiling it right here and then we can shuttle from there straight to the fire. I'm gonna go on back up and get another grab. over here the squeak's no longer there I got that one fixed it's something in here so we'll spray that next I think stuff may be green but it's burning without a problem y'all may not be able to see it but that smoke plume's going up and it's going that way but I'm getting a lot of ash dropping down in my truck here and look at all that straw from jobs and there's probably oil soaked in it that would be a good idea if i relocate the truck to where it's uh on that side of the smoke plume i decided i'd better jump in the skid steer throw the grapple on and run up and down that trail a couple of times make sure that it's going to be convenient enough to get this machine up and down through there because talking to one of my clients they like the trail we've done so far so much that they want me to make a full loop around the property, which is great, but we got to be able to do it efficiently. Run in here and grab this gravel. Boy, these weeds really sprung up fast, didn't they? So if I can do this without sticking too many weeds in there. Off of there, that way we got a good coupling. Latches. Yep. Good latch. Let's go grease this grapple up and make a run. Grease is cheap. Yeah, baby. Now, let's give this little road its first uh, test run for the skid steer. Get it a little bit 
cleaner. just doing this. I think I'll do pretty good. A lot of times just letting the grapple float on the ground will push most of this out of the way. The junk, I mean. this. smooth all this up otherwise this is going to beat her to death if you're not used to this it'll really work you over and I want her to be able to enjoy it oh yeah check that out that came out real clean really nice I think that will do these roots coming off this tree are going to be a pain I need to bring a couple of buckets of dirt up to put across those roots, that'll help. But yeah, navigating this is not going to be a problem. I'll go ahead and get this stump. Watch out. That's not what I wanted that stump to do. That's what I wanted it to do. Watch out there, chainsaw. I see you over there. Mm. Stump's not wanting to carry yet, is it? There he is. I got you now. What I'll do is I'll put him in snail mode and start her out at a low speed to where no matter how far she moves the stick, she can only go so fast. And then I'll just graduate her to faster and faster speeds as her skill level increases. Let's see. I'm not gonna risk it. I could dump that in the fire, but if that caved off, I don't have an arm to help push myself out. In case y'all didn't know, you notice when I'm sharpening, I'll push harder, but then you just barely hear me drag it backwards. You don't saw a file. You just push, and then I lightly drag it back, and that just saves time for me pulling all the way out, sharpen, pull it out. I'll just kind of push into it, and then just lightly pull back. Like right here, you got a tooth that's kind of hanging and grinding. Keep following that tooth, see how rough that is? Just keep lighting your touch on it, otherwise it's gonna keep grabbing. Just a real light touch until you get that rough spot out. And once that file starts gliding, that's when you need to stop. I usually hit each tooth about five licks, but in the case of something like that, if you just have one here and there that you have to file quite a bit more than the others, that's fine. It's the biggest thing is if you file like say, five licks one side, and then you have to do eight on the other, you're gonna have cuts start looking like a banana. And for the last step, tightening the chain. 
Just loosen these two guys. Some chainsaws, the smaller ones have one. Just loosen it one or two turns. Then you use this end of your bar wrench. Tighten him up just till you feel it get snug. And like this saw, you just barely snug it because when you tighten these down, it pulls that chain just a little bit tighter. And then you should just barely be able to see some daylight. Like that. Let's get back to it. Now that I know that that path is plenty good for the skid steer to be shuttling material, I need a lay down area up here, kind of like we have at the bottom. It doesn't have to be quite as big, but I need room to be able to work but also for the skid steer operator to come up to me, grab what I hand them, spin around, and take off. Right here's the corner of our property. I want to stay off of that a good little bit, give the neighbors privacy. Right through there's the fence. So I'm going to take all this stuff out and make us a lay down area. I'm extremely pleased with the progress that I made today, coming up our trail into our turnaround transfer area. It's gonna be great for me to go out the trail and keep working and cutting that in, dragging trees back to this area, having plenty of room to be able to work those trees up and get them out of here. I wanna say thank you very much for choosing to watch this video and hopefully I'll see you next time.